fan we're back with our october video and this video is going to be us making our blueberry jasmine candle it is a frosted candle and it also has embeds on top so that's what you see me making here is our marshmallows they, well they're supposed to be marshmallows but to me they look like something different but it's supposed to be little blue marshmallows um that i'm making and then i also have another mold that i actually made blueberries in um but they're both going to be colored blue so that's what i'm doing right now and these are the embeds that's going to go on top of the candle so right here you see me adding a little design to the jar um, i put some blue mica in wax like what i had left over from doing my marshmallows and i actually just sprinkled a little bit around the jar for decoration look of what it looks like after I finished that part um, and it actually came out pretty decent I think it's cute I have already melted my wax and I have already added my fragrance oil so I'm just going in and I'm wearing my jars these jars hold about nine ounces of wax um, this is not colored so this when it dries or when it cures whatever you want to call it it's going to turn like a white color so that's what this is so then i just sped it up a little bit more so you can just kind of see me filling the jars um that mica i did not want to put a lot in there because mica can clog your wicks so therefore um i just put a little bit around the jar just like i said for decoration and then i just started filling the jars candle is getting ready to cure i'm now adding our little popsicle sticks and what i did was i took two popsicle sticks and wrapped a rubber band around them jokers and i put them right on there it is a cheap alternative to you having to go buy the actual metal wick holders it works perfectly it holds everything in place and it's good to go here are our candles after the wax has set. This is what my embeds ended up looking like. So that's the little marshmallow. And then this is the one that's supposed to be a little blueberry. Um, but that's what it came out. This is going to be our frosting, which I did yellow. I did not use mica for this. I actually use wax dye um, because it burns good. Like I told you earlier, if you use too much mica, then it can dry out your wig. So this is just me doing the frosting. And as I continued to do the frosting, I actually noticed that some of it was set up and some of it wasn't set up. So I kept trying to pipe it into the jar and then boom, it just splattered all out. So I just continued to go. Um, eventually, you will actually see me. I leave the piping tip on, um, but I keep trying to get it to come out. And then it just it just splatters everywhere, like in every jar. And I just kind of mix it around to make it look you know to make it look decent it's not what i was going for i wanted the more of like the iced piping cake type look but hey this is what we got and it came out good it smells freaking amazing like i said this candle is our blueberry jasmine candle and i actually took two different fragrances to make this one so
drama is over, I'm going to apply my labels. So what I use is regular white matte sticker paper from online labels, but I get it from Amazon. And then I put a covering over it um, and I laminate it to get it to stay. And this is what it looks like after I print it. When I, I use my HP printer and then I also use my Cricut to cut. So this is just me labeling the jars after everything is done. I think I only made about four or five of them this day. So um, that's just me putting that label on. of our blueberry jasmine candle it smells amazing again it is a custom scent and it is currently available and in stock on our website so if this is something that interests you and you would like to make a purchase please go ahead and shop our link which is down below and thank you for watching